Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. What's up? How's everybody doing? Um, I'm so glad that you decided to come and watch my video today. Um, today, for my new video, I wanted to talk about an idea that I saw on Samantha March's page on her YouTube channel. She has such good ideas, and this one specifically was called Shop My Stash. And so what that means is that every two months, she basically goes through her collection of all of the makeup that she has and skincare and things like that, and she picks certain items that she wants to get more use out of during that two month period. So the goal is to use it more, to decide whether or not um, she wants to keep it, uh, give it away, donate it, whether she still loves it or not, and all that. So I decided to follow along with that amazing idea. And I wanted to share with you the different things that I chose for my Shop My Sash for July and August that'll be done September 1st. You ready to see what I got? I'm ready to show you. Let's go. So the first thing, um, I have a few items from each category for um, face. So I have foundation, first of all. And for foundation, I chose two. And one of these foundations is one that I have not used for a really long time. And so I wanted to decide if I'm going to keep it or donate it or, you know, what I'm going to do with it. So the first foundation is the ColourPop No Filter Stick. And I am the color Light 40N. So you can see it's a nice, good, full coverage foundation. Um, it's good for my skin type. I have dry with an oily T-zone, so a kind of combination skin, and it's good for that. So I'm going to use it a little bit more than I have before and decide whether to keep it or give it away. Now, if I decide to donate, um, I tend to use a charity, uh, Project Beauty Share, and it donates to women who are in need, and I'll include more information about that in the um, description box below. And I got that idea from Taylor Wynn from her page. So the second foundation that I found is more in the BB cream realm. Um, I really like to use BB creams during the summertime. It feels more lightweight uh, for those hot days, you know? So I did choose the Perlis Perfect Glow BB Cream. And uh, also, just so you know, everything that I mention, I will list in the description box below so you know exactly what I'm referencing. So I do want to try that again just to see if I can get more use out of it and if I like it more than my very favorite, the Maybelline Dream BB Fresh. So we're going to compare and see which one I like more. And I am the color Fair. And it's a really smooth coverage. It adds a light coverage, which, you know, I like. I like during summertime. Now, concealer. The first one that I have is the Revolution Conceal and Define. And my shade is C4. It has a nice big doe foot applicator. And I like the formula 
it's good and uh, it has a nice smooth texture. It feels soft on my skin and it doesn't dry quickly so you can manipulate it you know, on your eyes and put it where you want it before it dries down. Um, also with my skin type, it typically stays where I put it and uh, it doesn't budge really. So I like to use that in my under eyes sometimes. And then the next one, I have used this one so much that it's nearly gone, but it is the Maybelline. Oh my gosh, the printing is so small. Um, it's the Maybelline concealer. I can't see what it's called, but the color again is fair. Now it looks almost exactly the same color and it has a similar formula. I'm excited to use that one again and excited to see if I can use that up if I like it or I'm done. Now for powder. Honestly, I don't use a lot of powder. Most of the time I'll use it just in my T-zone um, around the edges of my mouth, my smile lines. Most days I forget to use powder, but I do want to try to use that more. So the first one, the first one I used um, a ton before, and so you'll be able to see that it's almost gone. This is the e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. And this is in the color Fair Light. Let's get this off here. So you can see I've hit pan on that. And it's just a beautiful formula. I don't know how e.l.f. does it, how they make such an amazing powder for such a low price, but bravo to them for that. Um, I like that it's not heavy. It doesn't feel super dense on the face. It doesn't make me feel hot. My skin is kind of interesting where if I use too much makeup or too much powder, I feel hot and constricted. I just don't like that feeling. And so I really like this because it's so light. The second powder that I have is from Ciate London. And it is the Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. Now this one, can we just talk about the smell? Oh my word, it is so good, that coconut. Ugh. Oh. So again, you can see it's so finely milled. It's not thick, it's not heavy, and I really like that. I've used it a few times before, but my goal with including it this time is to use it more. Let's talk about blush. I have two different blushers that I wanna use. The first one is from ColourPop. And this is the color Aloha. Now, ColourPop's cream blush, I love their formula quite a lot. It's very easy to apply, it's easy to blend, it's easy to correct if you go a little ham with it. And there's no scent with the blush at all. It's just a beautiful color and so you can see you can blend it out with your finger here and it blends so nicely or if you prefer you can also use a, a, bru a blush brush and it just adds such a beautiful color and just a beautiful wash on the cheeks. I think it's a nice summer color it's not too dark. It's just really, really lovely. Almost dropped it there. <laughs> 
Now the second blush is from Tarte. And it is their Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. Now to be honest, I have not used this a ton. It looks like I have, but this is a mini size. And I'm almost done with it. So my goal is to use it all up. It's a really beautiful color again. It's a very similar tone to the ColourPop. Um, one is just a powder and one's the cream, but I'm really excited to see if I can use that completely up. Highlighter. Okay, so this one is kind of cheating because I have this here and it includes a what? Okay, so the highlighter just completely fell out. Um, what? <laughs> I don't know if I can save it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So there it is. <laughs> it's got the bronzer, the blush, and then also the highlight shade. So I'm going to use all three. And I am going to try to use the highlight more and focus on that. Oh, it's a beautiful color. So I'm going to be using that. Now the second one is two of the same with just different colors. So this is the Loose Highlighting Powder. Okay, now let's be honest real quick. So I prefer something like this. I would definitely rather have a pressed powder you know, one that's in the pan, it's all condensed together. That's what I prefer more than a loose powder. So this, you can see. Oh, yeah. I mean, the color is so gorgeous, but it makes such a huge mess every time I use it. Oy. And then I have one more color. So that one's more of a gold. So I have kind of a silver, a pink, and a gold. So this second one in the center, uh, like I said, has more pink flecks in it, but I'm just going to try, oh my gosh, it's such a mess. There's powder everywhere. Oy. See, look, it's everywhere. That's just the fallout from that powder. Anyway, okay, I got everything cleaned up. So now let's talk about setting spray. I just have one. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is one of my favorite setting mists. Check this out. Do you see that? Do you see how fine that mist is? And it smells amazing. I can't identify 
the smell exactly. It's so hard to say what it smells like, but it's incredible. It's just a nice, clean smell. It's such a fine mist. Oh, I'm excited to use that more. Okay, now we are moving on to eyeshadow. I have quite a few that I put into my stash. I have some palettes, and then I have some that are just the single shadows. So the first one is from Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place is one of my favorite places for eyeshadow. I have four of their palettes right now, and I love every single one of them. So this is more of a neutral, you can see. And it's got, you know, those neutral tones. I can use that with different palettes if there are really super bright colors. I can pull a neutral in into my uh, transition shade. It just, they work so beautifully. Um, oh, they're just such beautiful shadows and I'm really excited to focus on this palette more. It's truly one of my favorites. Now my second palette is from KKW Beauty. And I very recently bought this. I have never used anything from KKW or from Kylie Cosmetics before. Um, so this is my first foray into that. And I'm really excited to dip into this more. And this is, is the KKW Beauty Classic Blossom Palette. I'm really excited to dip into that more. Okay, now this one, you guys. You guys, I love, love, love this palette. It is incredible. I don't use it enough. I need to use it more. Tati Beauty, you guys. I love it. I, I love it. What else can I say? Look at this. Oh. Each color is so incredible. I'm just going to swatch the shimmers for you so that you can see how they perform. Guys, look at this. Guys, look at this. That is one swipe. Come on. Oh, amazing. Guys, this angle. It's just such amazing, beautiful colors. They're long lasting. They're incredibly easy to blend together. You can do an everyday look or a super high glam look. I just can't wait to use it more because I love it so much. Okay, now I have a couple of single shadows that I'm going to use. They're all from ColourPop. This one is bright pink. And this is Slave to Pink. Check that out. It has that bright pink, that metallic look, because it's one of the super shock shadows. Oh, I cannot wait to use that more. Okay, now this one I have never used before. This is Blitzen. And that is more of a 
terracotta. It's got red, orange. It's got some gold flecks in there. Wow. I'm excited to use. I keep saying that. I'm excited to use that color. Okay, now this one is Monkey Business. So this one is a Super Shock pigment. So you can see the difference there. There's no shimmer. It's not that metallic look. But those two together, ooh, yes. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Now the last one that I have, where'd it go? I have one. It's one of the Jelly Much eyeshadows from ColourPop. If you've never seen these before, it's a really interesting, unique formula. It's a soft formula in the pan, but as soon as it dries down, it dries to powder and it has incredible staying power. Um, there we go. So you can see here that it has that soft feel. Guys. Okay. 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 I'm going to try something right now. You guys, I mean, it's perfect. That is the perfect inner corner highlight. I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm excited to use it all more. So now the last thing I'm going to talk about is lipsticks. And this is one that I want to use more. This is from Marc Jacobs. And this is number 110, Role Play. It's just like a really beautiful nude. I love that. And for a pop of color, this is from Revlon. This is the matte super luster in the color 005. Look at that. Yes, yes. Mhm. Mm yeah. Mhm. Mm I keep saying that I'm excited to use everything, but it's, I legitimately am excited to use everything that I have. I have stuff in my collection that I just have not used for a while, and I don't use enough, and then I find it, and I get excited about it all over again. So all of the things that I have, the only thing that I'm like ugh, not super excited about is this, only because the powder. Now, okay. Wet n Wild have a pressed highlighting powder out of this world, out of this world, perfection. I'm obsessed with those, but just the loose powder, I just don't love it. And I'm not thrilled about the mess I'm about to make. Okay. And then there's one more thing that I want to use more of, and that is this eyeliner. And this is from Maybelline. And I love to use this for the waterline. 
So I'm going to use that one more. And then this one is from Wet n Wild. And this is their black color. So here's the two side by side. Guys, that's everything. I just, I want to thank Samantha March again for such an incredible idea and her awesome video. She has so many good ideas on her channel, you guys. She has so many awesome videos. I'm going to put a link down below to her channel so that you can find her and um, see her different videos, especially her Shop My Stash. And I just wanted to thank you guys so much for coming to my channel today. Uh, if you liked and enjoyed this, don't forget to click the like button. It helps me so much. And also subscribe and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you know about my upcoming videos. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.